Well, right now I'm in the building that builds furniture renovations and some of this furniture, as you can see, this wasn't, this is not attached to anything. It's just sitting on this table. This is fine, but the glass, the front of the building was just blown out. And I'm told by the building owner that the power box that was inside was actually sucked out of the building. and It's now laying out in the parking lot. And as you can see behind me here, these the fire crews have been using the hoses to just blow some of this glass over and sweep some of it um, just to get it off of the road. 148 is still closed. There is a power line that is down over um, and Ameren is on the way here. They're getting ready to start cleaning that up. But you can see this insulation. I mean, the front of this building was just completely torn out. Carolyn, I'm out here talking with the owners of Pine Lakes Golf Course, and you can see they sustained some serious damage here. They've got windows blown out. They've got half the roof. The, on the other side, you can see just how much of the roof is ripped off, but they say it actually lifted the roof, and now there's a lot of water damage on the inside. But I got some other stuff to show you over here. I was listening to Jim, and he said that we could be dealing with a tornado in Williamson County, and this right here, I mean, you can see a direct path. Uh, just complete debris, uh, trees down, limbs down, um, and the strength of this storm. And if you want to come over here, we can show them this. These big bolts were this rebar was down in the ground. Um, hold this carport down, and they have been ripped out. They've been pulled completely out of the ground. Um, if we want to show up here, Andy, the uh, damage to the roof and just the fact that. There's just a, windows totally blown out of here. Um, but the most compelling things that we've seen have been windows blown out and the path. The path is just, you can see it probably, you can't even see it on camera, just how far it stretches back. Um, but that's what we've got over here in Williamson County. Live and in, Ronnie LaForge, News 3.